And in this video, we will examine the classes and types of adjusting entry. The classes, there are some that are deferred items and some that are accrued items. To begin with, we look at prepaid insurance or prepaid rent. On October 4th, Sierra Corporation paid $600 for a one-year fire insurance policy. That coverage began October 1st and is good for a whole year. So at the time, we would record debit prepaid insurance 600 credit cash 600 but by the end of October 31st you see I've used up one month I've used up 50 but nowhere in the records is that shown that's the need for an adjusting entries so therefore what I do is you always debit the expense first so it would be insurance expense fifty and reduce the asset credit prepaid insurance fifty the same goes for assets that I have purchased uh, such as supplies they were cost two fifty two thousand five hundred I bought them October 5th I put them in the uh, cupboard and during the month I've used up some of these supplies well at the end of the month I check and I see that I only have a thousand left so obviously I've used up fifteen hundred so we need to reduce the asset and recognize the expense. So debit supplies expense 1500 and credit supplies. Now when I post this to the supplies ledger you'll see that it had 2500, 1500 credit, it has a balance of a thousand which equals the thousand I have in the cupboard and I have an expense because I used up 1500 during the month. The same goes for depreciation. Now Sierra Company assumes depreciation on the office equipment 480 a year. So by the end of October I have used up one. To record that we used up depreciation so it's depreciation expense debit 40. Now we could reduce the equipment but what we do instead is we increase what's called a contra asset account. I'll explain all that later. We open up an account called Accumulated Depreciation for the Equipment and we put the credit in there. Now this next type of item uh, or the type of journal entry that gives rise to unearned revenue uh, sometimes confuses students because it has the word revenue in it. But basically what it means is the company has accepted cash but has not provided the service. So because it has not provided the service, it has a liability to provide that service. That liability we call unearned revenue. Now, as we go through time and we earn that revenue, we need to adjust our records to indicate that we've earned it. So Sierra Corporation received 1200 on October 2nd from our Knox for Guide services to be done by December 31st. Unearned revenue account shows 1200 in October 31st balance, but you see we actually did $400 worth of that service. So we must make the adjustment. And we do that by debiting unearned service revenue. We're reducing our liability. And a debit is a decrease in a liability account. And recognizing revenue. Revenue is always credit. So credit, service, revenue. The previous adjusting entries were all deferred items, which means they were originally recorded at their full amount uh, in the accounting records, but as time went on, uh, we've used up some of it, or we've earned revenue, or things of that nature, we've incurred depreciation, so we need to make an adjustment. These ones are called accrued items, that is, something has happened, but we have not yet recorded it. Accrued means it has incurred but it's not recorded in the records. It's one of those old 15th century Venetian terms, accrued expenses and accrued revenues. For example, Sierra Corporation last paid its salary October 26. The next payment will not occur to November 9. The employees received total salaries of 2,000 for a five day work period or 400 a day. Thus, they have earned 1,200, but there's not been any record of that in the account. So I must adjust my records before I do my financial statements and recognize this expense as being in this accounting period prior to October 31st. To do that, I debit salary expense 1200 and then I set up a payable. 
which is a liability account. I owe salaries of twelve hundred. And that is true as at the end of October thirty first. Now without going through an example, the other type is accrued revenue. That is the company has done work for a customer but has not billed that customer yet as of October 31st. Let's say they've done 500 worth of work. Well then they set up an accounts receivable. Debit accounts receivable, 500 because this company owes me that. And credit revenue because it's revenue that was earned prior to October 31st. So now that completes the different types of um, adjusting entries. We now then summarize our trial balance. Again, remember trial balance is simply a listing of accounts. So we made those adjusting entries and we posted them to the records and adjusted them. And we simply make sure that everything is in balance. So we do what's called an adjusted trial balance. And that completes the adjustments. Once I have an adjusted trial balance, then I can proceed to do the financial statements. But in the next video, I'll show you how the accountant does that using a worksheet.